earliest record in England for dowsers was um, Elizabeth I. She desperately needed cannons for her ships and to fight, fight the Spanish. And um, she uh, needed tin and copper. And so she imported two German dowsers to go and find the tin mines and also the copper mines in Cornwall and, and Cumberland and provided that for, for the ships. And there's a whole science of hydrology which is about rainfall falling on the ground and some of it flowing straight into rivers but the majority of it soaking into the ground going through underground cavern was percolating through the soil and eventually finding its way into underground aquifers. And the aquifers can be in the form of great big underground lakes or more frequently um, underground streams. And that's where we as dowsers come in because you need to be able to locate precisely to get onto the underground streams. And if you get in between one of those streams, you get nothing. If you get onto one of those streams, you find the water you need. I'll first do a check before I go on site to look at the geology. Um, to look to find the likely depths and the kind of um, the sort of things I'm going to find. We're going to pay a driller at least a hundred pounds a meter to drill that. So uh, twenty meters is two thousand pounds. Fifty meters is five thousand pounds. So then you've got to line it. Then you've got to put pumps in there. You don't want it too shallow in most cases because it's that's going to dry up in a dry year because there's not enough water behind it. Or if you have a series of dry years, say three dry years, then you might find your well, your well dries up. And so the best balance between not costing too much and having a good guaranteed supply is between 25 and 50 meters. It's, it's a fundamental ability that we all, and skill that we, we all have that's just not used much these days. But you can, you can train, train yourself to use your, your intuitive powers. It's just that we're very focused on water and we're very good at finding water because if you're a, you know, you don't have to go back that many thousands of years when we were all um, wandering the earth as uh, before we did agriculture and that uh, if uh, particularly weaker members of, of, of the tribe, say, babies and, and the elderly don't survive that long without water and therefore you had to find it and find it quickly. So it's of enormous it's of enormous benefit for us to be able to douse. Find a culvert or a bridge over um, an actively flowing stream. Buy yourself some, some rods like these and um, you hold them like you would sort of pistols, or dueling pistols like this. So what I'd like you to do is to bring them gently together so they cross his No, let them ro rotate rather than bringing your hands together. That's right, perfect. Keep, keep them coming, keep them coming. In, right in close. Perfect. Now I want you to reset, so I want you to drop them down, let your arms flop down, and then just touch your knuckles together like that, and then come back up. When you walk over the side of the stream, they'll cross like that, and when you walk over and over and over the stream, and then at the other end, they'll, they'll come undone like that. At first, there will be a slow reaction, there, there'll be a delay, so that you might be, say, a quarter a, over the stream before they close and there would be a, a distance after you've come from the stream before they would open again. Okay, now, we had the typical reaction, that was perfect, that was really fantastic. There is a strong um, sort of, oh, I'm just going to hang on to this and I'm not going to let them move. And you've got to overcome that. You know, taste it, feel it, touch, you know, touch it, so all five senses involved with water. And um, there's got to be a need to know with dowsing. It's no good just doing it like a game. And you really do want to learn this. Do you want to go for the middle of the stream or do you want to go for the edge of the stream to get a signal? Go for the edge of the stream. Okay, well, what you should get then is as you come up to the edge of the stream, they should come together and then keep walking and keep walking. And then when you get to the other edge, they should open again. It's about this clear head and it's about at the same time allowing it to happen. Much better. Right, now be ready for it, Un undo. So carry on walking, go to the other side. Yeah. Now what you should begin to feel is you can feel a response and then the rods move afterwards. Yeah. Did you feel that inside you? Yeah. All right, it's great. So the real dowsing response is what you feel. The rods are just really amplifying that. I see. It's a 
visualization. I've studied water and hydrology and geology and all that for, for, for many years and uh, so I, I use, that, use that knowledge. I will check the geology and the hydrogeology. Um, sometimes the customers have um, specialist reports written for them um, and I read those very, very carefully. And, um, but the thing about hydrology and, and, and geology is that they're very good at getting the big picture so they could tell you pretty accurately what the chances of finding water in say this field was. If you look at the way water flows on a beach after the tide's gone out, it doesn't fly, flow off as one sheet. Because the water gouges out little streams, every so often, every few metres, you'll get a stream in a repetitive pattern. And the same thing happen, happens underground where you've got say a solid layer of clay which is impervious and say sand above or gravel above. The hydrology and and geology is very accurate these days but nevertheless it's a bit like spot the ball competition because you know the streams are, occur say you know, well, um, only so one percent of the time yeah. and otherwise it's just guesswork and it, only the guesswork costs you ten thousand pounds a time. Eastern philosophies, Eastern religions talk about this cosmic consciousness and the Akashic record and all of those kind of things it really is there because that's what that's what we're tapping into when we're dowsing um, and the only reason we can is, is, is that because it is so, it becomes uh, useful for our survival to break through that normal taboo, which normally is very, very unhelpful. Our reservoirs were designed for when the population in Sussex, for instance, was probably a quarter of what it is now. And there's no way we're going to have, we've got the room to construct more reservoirs. If we're on mains water, we've all got to be terribly careful how we use it. If you've got your own supplies, this is a huge amount of water under, underground. And um, uh, providing you do it carefully, there is plenty for all of us. But you've got to be careful you don't pollute it, because once it's polluted, that's it. You can't use it again.